I move the 53,721. Second. Okay. Good evening, okay, Michelle. Wait, who, who moved it, Jim? Yes. Yeah. Jim. Mm -hmm. And then who seconded it? Brian. Brian, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Okay. <coughs> Michelle, we're going to let you present. Give us the good news. Well, um... The day-to-day -day numbers of people who are coming into my office is fewer. Okay. That's good news. The bad news is generally, typically the cases that do come to see me are more complicated. Um, it's been quite recently that I'm beginning to see more families. I haven't seen families in probably two and a half years, maybe three years, and now families are back. Um, I, I don't know how that's going to trend out. That's going to play out like it plays out. I, I can't predict that. Um, I'm s seeing a decrease in the number of single men, which I had seen an increase in. Um, but overall, I am seeing fewer people than I've, I've seen in years past. Um, I and I don't really I don't know what's driving that I do know that people have really got it that if you have a job in this area you better keep it because you're not going to replace it and New Hampshire did not get hit like the rest of the country in the recession it just didn't we are not Ohio and um, that's pretty clear so um, overall where are you finding the biggest needs of, I mean, what what shifts in cost from a family to single person or in, in reverse? I'm sorry. We, you say you're seeing less people, but it's more complicated. So what are the costs we should probably keep an eye on that shifts with that, dealing with a single person as opposed to a family? I don't think you can. I don't think you Well, housing is going to be huge because a single person I can find a room for somewhere. Right. But uh, uh, if you've got a homeless family, you're going to be paying a motel room until you can get them into a shelter, which could be weeks or months later. So that's going to increase that. That cost may indeed go up. Last year, I'm jumping into this um, a little bit, guys something I just wanted to keep a pulse on. Last year, our ability to just send, some, oh, this year, our ability, 2014, to just send someone to crossroads mm -hmm. changed by virtue of the fact they were going to dispatch. They go to a centralized intake, yes. Are you finding that a cooperative, a, a cooperative system for us, or are we not getting as much um, assistance there as we did before that change. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. T I can't even. I can't begin to answer that. I can tell you that the people that I work with in right regard are very nice. They're very personable. They're very professional. They seem to do a good job. But we're in line with every. Our people are now in line through a through an, through a diff a place, not the shelter who assesses the, the people for a shelter space and then makes assignments based on <coughs> what they see across the whole area. Um, mm -hmm. It's an extra layer. It may be better. I don't know. The federal government certainly thinks it's better because of, uh, of uh, research that they've done. Um, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how we specifically respond to it. I would ask, and this is talking about the Warren article that we put out every year. We usually benefit tremendously from all the agencies that serve us in the Warren article, the Health and Human Services. But there are many of them. They've somewhat been grandfathered in. Um, this year, if you could do some assessment for us before we tackle that particular Warren article and let those organizations know this may be a year that they may have to come back into us. And is it us the budget committee that they, it, they would go to the town meeting, is that correct? They would go to the night that we review the Warren article okay. in this session. 
Okay. That would be when they would come in. And some evaluation from you, Sean, how, some sort of a report card, okay, on how they're doing, are we getting a value for it? I mean, the fact that we put out money every year, and this goes back to a lot of years ago when we got you know, no service. I'm gonna I need to stop you because many of those services, I don't see those folks because they're getting services. And it's unfair for me to judge what they're better off for them to present their own services that they're providing than for me to judge. Exactly. Past couple of years, it's, we have it, not had them present. That's what I'm right. getting at. They have not presented because many of the agencies come. Isn't that an invitation that should come from you rather than from me? I was going to direct it to you. You know who we're dealing with in each one of these agencies. So that's why I'm asking you to send that out there as a possibility. I mean, to be prepared to come in and present to us this year on that Warren article. We had one agency last year that increased their money. Mm. They increased their money yeah, and we decreased the money. Article. So, but it was a separate. It was a separate, a separate warrant, warrant article. article. And how that works is, for those of you who are new, there is a warrant article tied to this department um, that groups all the agencies as one money warrant article. But how that gets put together is the need by each agency. And for years, we used to have kind of like an unwritten rule. We'd have a night, you came for a presentation. If you didn't show up and present, you didn't go on the Warren article. And then we went through recent years where we found the request reasonable, so we didn't drag that all out. But if things are changing a little bit, and we have some of these changes with Crossroads, they're not going to give us names, and it may not be people that you have, but certainly some, they do have stats. Absolutely. Uh, Hampton residents, each and every single one of them, of how many they served and what the dollar amount was. You'll probably find out in the end that they spend way more than we give them, but I don't think, I think it might be a good year for a little tune-up in, that, in okay. that department. Okay. Is that something that, that you, that the town manager should... No, that's something that we can totally request. They're asking us for money. Are the selectmen requesting that the appearance of these agencies? They don't I have to. It's no, no, something no, they have in the past. They well, can, but what, they've already been through their budget round. What I have done yearly is to go through them to make sure that all of the agencies receiving money from us do serve Hampton clients. That is, they're still functioning. Okay, so you you have the contact. I, I know I know who's I know who's out there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If, if I could suggest, each of the organizations that make a request mm -hmm. submit a written form, and in many cases, the data you're talking about is in that. So why don't, if it's appropriate or if you'd like, we can make a copy of all of those, give the packets to you folks, <coughs> and you will decide if that's sufficient or you need someone to give you more information. If that might be helpful. We need it well in advance. Maybe that way, if we yeah. decided that. We needed them here. They'd have enough time to react to that. Yeah, we, those, those letters are in our possession now. We already have them, so we can make copies and forward them off. Okay. Be a problem. Yeah, there might be a couple missing in there, but we, we can give you what you, we have. Yeah. Does that include how many people they service from the town? Yeah, it's, uh, we're speaking of generalities. Generally, it's yeah. in that letter. Okay. So we can take a look at it. It may be, you know, 50, 70 percent of them will answer your questions, and we invite in the others. You know, to spend the whole night on. Well, it. generally, we'll get if, the data, if you can look at it. right, if you go through the letters, and if, uh, I'm okay with that. I just want the answers to who, how many were serving, right. and and the dollar value of who were serving, mm -hmm. not by the numbers, not by the actual individuals. Mm -hmm. If you have ones that answer all that, and I know like community action and that. They usually send you all the information of who they've served. If you have somebody who's put a request in that isn't giving you numbers of who, how many they served in the past year and how, many, how much they spent serving them, maybe it will suffice to just have them send the letter. But, I mean, I would like to see that more by mid-November. Uh, so yeah, that we have, we have, we'll be happy to make a packet perfect. and then let us know what you need. Thank you. All right. Michelle, I'm sorry. Did okay, that's okay. That? that's okay. That's okay. Um, so the floor is open to you. I'm good. I'm going to okay. start over here with Jerry. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Michelle, I know you do a good job. I, I've seen you up there working on the second floor. I, I, I just want to 
make sure that if people are coming in, they're get, you know, because we're underspending the budget every single year, mm -hmm. significantly. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I first got elected as a selectman, this budget was over $100,000, $115,000, mm -hmm. and 120000 It's been gradually reduced because you're not spending. Mm -hmm. You know, you're spending on the average of like twenty eight to 30000 you know, a year mm -hmm. type of thing. And it's, it's, it's uh, I want to make sure that if people are coming in and, and they need some temporary shelter and they, or they need some some clothing or they need some food that we are Jerry, servicing. Jerry, I need to stop you because the welfare officers are tasked with three things. I'm interested that people have a roof over their head, that they have food to eat, and that they have access to medical care. We don't buy people shoes. We don't buy people clothes. But I'm good at my job. And I'm good at my job because I know where every free shoe is. I know. Probably I, I in the state. You know. Probably in the state. Right. And I know how to get a free meal. Jeez, I should try that. <laughs> uh, how to get a free meal. I know where they are. So you're, and you're so saying I know where the you know services the are. And the you bet I do. That are going to compliment those people coming in. You bet I and, do. And so that saves us now, money. The sad part of it is, is that I can get them what they need. It may not be what they want. Well, and that's coach. and there's a I, there's a certain sadness to that, and yeah, I, I recognize it. But I make sure that somebody gets what they need. It may not be what they want. In other words, I get them a shelter. I get them a space in a shelter. I don't get them a motel room down on the beach. Okay, that's that's a kind of difference. How do you handle a family that might come in? And, you know, a shelter. Sometimes a shelter. Sometimes a motel room. Sometimes what I really try to do is to see if they have family in the area that can take them in for a few weeks until we can get them into a shelter. So nobody's going on taking care of them. Nobody's on the street because I, of, know, of my actions. You know, they're not going hungry. They've they got no. clothes. they got shelter. You want some chicken? <laughs> no. I can take I'm not care a chicken of you. Okay. I'm a turkey fellow. Oh, well, I got that okay. too. Okay, Joe. I have one other question. Uh, yeah. Michelle. Why did your wage come down like it did? It came down because all part-timers went from whatever they went to 28 hours a week, went below 30 hours so a week. So you were a part-timer? I am part-time. What was your hours? I was 32 hours a week. Oh, and you're going to 29? And I'm going to 28. That's because of the Obamacare. I'm going to 28. Yes. Uh, Obamacare. So what is it? Is it 29, Jamie, or 30? Thirty is the cutoff. Thirty is the trigger for the ACA. Yeah, that's not Obamacare. That's the town policy. No, that's no, nope, that's, that's Affordable Care Act. It's Affordable Care Act. Well, if you, you, the, the town can pay for thirty and, and offer health that's insurance. Right. Well, that's what they're trying not to do. Well, so what's and I already have health insurance, so I don't need two. I don't need two policies. Insurance. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, I thought that something else was happening here that was. I needed to find out. No, okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You mm -hmm. I don't have any more questions. I think she okay. does a good job. My questions are in, in you know utilities, agencies, gas and fares. Why, why the big discrepancies from from actual to budget? Why, what's what's the big? There's a big difference there. I think it's in case there's an increase because the way the state law reads is that my budget. If I have to spend it, I have to spend it. And if it's not there, you're going to have an overage. Right. I understand that. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why it's there. It's that's, just there for planning purposes. purposes. It's there for planning purposes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have a suggestion. It's probably the, the town manager's role more than you. Why don't you put together a questionnaire for all the social service agencies that are getting funding from Hampton? Ask them the questions you want, they'll respond, and we'll be able to make an intelligent decision on it. Well, that should be our job. A lot of times they supply that. Well, I think you're going to find that information in the letters. The questions, yeah. you'll have the answer. They're all, so all the agencies are different. It's not a one size fits all. Different services, different agencies. Um, Jim? I have nothing, and I'm sure you have those, that those statistics are easy to get. I'm sure the people will, will provide it in a minute. I think they're going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I have nothing. Okay. Um, I'm disabled. My wife's disabled. I have friends with this disabled, and you've done an incredible job with everyone in town. You know that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to say for the amount of money that we spend for this. Thank you. 
Michelle, I'll echo that. I've been in your office. I've seen your budget year after year. The only thing I'd caution you is not to go too far down because you are demanded by law. Somebody comes in, you've go got to take care down. of it. Go too far down? I don't understand Go too you far mean. down in your budget. I think it's amazing what you do with the budget that you have. Oh, if it's there, I'll, if I need it, I'm going to spend it. There's no, there's just not, there's no, if it's, if I have to, if the need is there and I have to spend it, I'll spend it. If I overspend, I'll talk to you later. I really will. And usually if I have to overspend it, if something's huge, I get somebody in the community to split it with me. So you've I, done a very good job of you know, doing that, and you have a great pantry going there. So a reminder to everyone: I do have like a pantry. Donate. Yes, mm -hmm. I have a fabulous pantry. Yes. It's it's it looks small, but it has a little bit of everything. You could plan your dinner from it if you wanted to. I mean, it's it's a decent pantry, and I do have frozen meat. And people in need of, of frozen meat, I, I can help you out there. And if I run over, I have a, a relationship with a Catholic church that has a huge pantry. They have a, a walk-in freezer. And if I need anything, I just call them up and they put a box together for me. So they, they're really fabulous. There are tons of fabulous people in this town. Well, you know, we, let, we made you sit here all night and come, to, and come up to us last. That's okay, I'm going to charge It's you. only fair that we give a commercial. Is there anything that you really are in need of right now? No, people are taking care of me. In fact, tomorrow I have a, a meeting with Sprague Industries who's making a cash donation to the pantry, which means I can go to the store and buy crackers and uh, pancake mix and syrup and things that don't come on commodity food. So, you know, the, this, the, we're getting taken care of. Thank you. Great. I think Great. Your, your, your asset, your, va your value is that you know think so. Where Great. everything is. I think yeah. so. I think so. We're trying to get a round table. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. As I said last year, you have a difficult job and you do a great job. I wish I knew about the pantry back when Market Basket was closed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. No questions. Thank you. I have nothing. Thanks. I, Thank I would just say your compassion is obvious. And yeah. you have the perfect job for you. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure you think it's a perfect job. <laughs> you're a perfect person for it. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Michelle. Night. Thank you. Do I have a motion? We have make a motion. motion. Second. Yes. Okay, thank you. I'll make the motion that we move. Wait a minute. Jim just said he'll make the motion. Oh, all right. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Jim. Jump before Wake he up. talks yeah. again. I did. <laughs> but the number we already give, what was that? 53721. 53721. Okay. 53, and we had a second. Yep. Mike. Mike. So we now we need a vote. All those in favor? Yes. All right. No one opposed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you. Okay, that was unanimous. All right.